Hello. 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 Welcome to ASMR with Mr. 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 Seamus. Today is a day that I'm not feeling too well. Um, I feel pretty much quite ill. Um, I got a lot of congestion. And it's very unfortunate, but it is what it is. So today we're going to have some soup. But before we do that, let's do some breathing. a little bit of rasp <clears throat> in my voice because of some congestion. Today we have a tapatio soup. Tapatio um, ramen noodle soup. Right here. Picante, picante. It's gonna be a little hot, a little spicy. Original flavor. We got the uh, tapatio mascot on over here, who's very welcoming. This instant soup mix. Coming at you with all kinds of nutrients and whatnot, what have you. Um, so what we want to do is want to open it up. Two. Um, we got a soup base and we got a vegetable flakes. Right, look inside here, it's really dry and bad. Flakes in there. And a base. Spicy base. it to the full line to kind of let it sit for a little while and at this time is a good time to contemplate your upcoming um, soup adventure you know um, what it means to you personally on a physical mental spiritual level how are you going to consume this soup hopefully the steam and 
fluids will help you with your sickness. Like, hopefully it will help with me. It's something we can kind of add an intention to our soup. So we move along. Just waiting in patience for the soup to arrive at completion. Now it's suggested about four minutes of sitting with the hot water and basking in its steams and its in the glory of the hot water and its boiling point which we have managed to achieve. So as you're sitting and interpreting and consuming um, the uh, media in which we are delving into, consider that soup is in itself a natural and uh, beautiful kind of plethora of various things that we have, such as spices, uh, vegetables, broth, 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 broth. And it comes from all kinds of different flavors. Flavors that have been around for centuries. And as we sit and we consider I think that's one of the things that's mainly important is the reflection and that we're taking the time to properly do that. But now also I would advise that you have some, uh, this is uh, water, uh, but it has uh, like a drip drop in there and it's got um, electrolytes, 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 help keeping one hydrated during um, you know, times of illness. So I invite you um, and your loved ones to uh, join. We're enjoying some soup, um, some tapatio, 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 ramen noodles. So what's interesting is this kind of a fusion between, um, you know, Central American flavors, and tapatio and a hot sauce and a Mexican flavor, and ramen noodles from the East, the Far East. Maybe Japan or Korea or somewhere like that. And so we're going to be delving into kind of a fusion of different international flavors, which is always a good time. And um, I'm excited about it. I'm quite thrilled about it that we will be able to enjoy some of these flavors. So, although if we let our soup sit for the right amount of time, we can observe. Get those spicy flavors in there. Take a look at that at home. Okay. And now we have our bowl of soup here. do is stir it up. See how that broth is really nice. Uh, really nice. Um, we say a flavor. You can enjoy you can enjoy at home of course. Just wanna stir it up. Get all those noodles in there. Opening up things, it's a spicy ramen, very spicy. But it's a tapatio spice, so it, you know, it's, it's a good uh, moderate hit of spiciness. Very good, very tasty.
What a ride. What a ride. At this point, you may want to take a step back and just refresh yourself. Good amount of spiciness to it here. It's kind of builds a little bit, makes you sweat a little bit. It also really helps clear those sinuses. Some of the areas that have been just kind of um, really hit hard with uh, congestion. Sometimes it's hard to tell if it's the heat from the spicy or is it from the hot temperature. Sometimes I struggle with that myself. I should clear everything out, get everything in its good position, in a solid position, of course. <clears throat> We're continue on with our soup here. Lots of noodles to come out. We're coming at this with a spoon. So if we had um, chopsticks or a fork, it could be very helpful. But what we have is a spoon. So we we'll have to make do. Quite, quite refreshing. Feel real nice and clearing out a little bit. It was hot, very hot. But I'm not sure it's the temperature as much as it is the, um, the heat, the spicy. Hard to tell. The tapatio gives you that kind of um, oh, it's like a spicy A1 steak sauce kind of flavor. In there. A little higher in the vinegar content, maybe. As we explore um, the tapatio uh, spiciness, we're we'll building along here with us as we go along.
there's a point when you get to any soup where you might want to start drinking it. I think we're at that point now in our journey. Almost a very spicy broth at the end of it, a lot of heat coming in. Ooh. There you have it. Ooh. Thank you so much for joining us for some soup. I hope you're feeling better. I hope I feel better. And have a lovely rest of the day.